thanks for sticking with us. Satellite Sunday, and you can see the northern hemisphere a little active right now. You can see tropical storm Umberto just off the east coast of the Continental 48. Also, tr Hurricane Kiko, that is a cat four in the eastern Pacific. And also notice there's something in the Gulf of Mexico, which we are watching at the moment. More on that in just a bit. The tower cam showing 89 degrees. Heat index feels like 97. Eastwood at 15 miles an hour, so a light breeze out there to get Sunday night plans going. Temperature wise, 89 here in town, 92 over in Alice, a touch cooler over in Mathis at 87, 90 in Robstown, and even some 70s out in the brush country, mid 70s, thanks to some rain cooled air out across our western county. So tonight, mainly quiet. Very small chance at seeing an isolated shower thanks to some energy working on shore. And you notice a couple showers out in northern Duval County getting closer to Freer 59. Also a good thunderstorm complex over Heavenville at the moment. So some of this energy may work on shore. So a very small chance at seeing a light shower. And you see a lot of coverage out in the Rio Grande Valley getting to, let's say, uh, Heavenville and also into Zabata County along the Rio Grande. So this is all thanks to an upper low that's across the open waters of the Gulf. This is in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere spinning counterclockwise on the southeastern end of it is a disturbance we are watching as far as tropical development. Now the Hurricane Center is giving a very low chance at development about a 10% in the next two days or so, all thanks to just running out of room. It's running out of real estate as it gets closer to the Texas coast. But what it will do, it'll send us moisture, also fuel in the tank to get rain chances going. And this is indicated by the orange shades. This is an abundant amount of moisture that's going to kind of uh, move into the Texas coast, Corpus Christi, also into Houston. And that's just going to be the setting up the stage for more scattered and numerous showers through midweek. So we're going to walk you through future radar tonight, mainly quiet, a little bit of sunshine. Tomorrow Tomorrow morning through the uh, morning commute can't roll out an isolated shower and a more isolated activity through your Monday to kick off the work week. But watch what happens in a Tuesday. More scattered and numerous activity, mostly cloudy skies. And thanks to that, I think high temperatures should stay in the mid to upper 80s thanks to rain cooled air. And again, thanks to additional cloud cover. Now tomorrow, not a whole lot of accumulated rain, maybe ranging from about a tenth of an inch to a quarter, depending on where you're at across the area. And then we get through about Wednesday and Thursday. Look at this more widespread activity out across the northeastern coastal bend, ranging from about two to three inches. Again, depending on where you're at across the area. Seven day forecast isolated showers through Monday again. More coverage for Tuesday and Wednesday. Notice high temperature says about 91 to 93. I do think maybe in some spots could say in the upper 80s. We taper off on those rain chances by Friday. 89 degrees on Friday and 89 by next Saturday. All right, keep it here on TV3. Three News at 530 continues after this.